solution number three is to eat less animal foods and to eat more plant-based foods. Now, I kind of consider myself a flexitarian, which I'm not a strict vegan, which means I wouldn't eat any animal foods at all. Instead, I make a conscious effort to eat one or two totally animal-free vegan meals a day. And I think this is entirely doable, and there's tremendous health benefits because animal foods, first of all, they're higher up on the food chain, so they're going to accumulate a lot of toxins, especially if you're not buying organic. Um, and like cows, for example, the, now the way cows are raised, instead of being grass-fed, they're fed grains, which totally changes the composition of the meat. Um, you can get grass-fed meat, but it's a lot more expensive. So it's very difficult to eat, on a consistent basis, very high-quality animal foods. In addition, animal foods also contain a lot of saturated fat. Uh, Animal-based saturated fat is not healthy. It's not healthy for your heart. It's also not healthy if you have any inflammatory conditions, um, MS, for example, um, arthritis, asthma, acne. Eating a lot of animal-based saturated fat, which you get from animals, is going to make your symptoms worse. It's going to make you feel worse. So what you want to do is you want to consciously try to increase your intake of plant-based foods, um, all the carbohydrates that I talked about in solution number two. Those are great sources, um, great plant-based foods. You can also get plant-based protein from whole soy, so um, edamame beans, soy milk, uh, tempeh, tofu, and nuts and seeds. These are great vegan sources of protein. And what you can do that's very doable in the real world, like I said, is just eat two, one or two meals a day that are completely animal-free, and you'll be making great strides to improving your health.